So let's look at two more examples. So we're still using grouping as a factoring method here. So as we discussed before, before using the grouping method, you have to double check whether this polynomial shares any common factor. If you get confused, as I've suggested for basic prime number, so you always try 2, 5, 3, 7, those four numbers here. Now, let's start doing it. Do you see any common factor? Uh, I don't think 2 is working, no 5. But I think 3 may work because 3 is here and I know 15 is a multiple of, multiple of 3 and 75 maybe. That's the reason I try to factor by 3 first. Then this becomes 5xy minus if you divide 75 by 3 then it come out 25. And then plus y minus 5 here. Okay, now, do you see any other common factor out of these four terms? No more. So now we can multiply them as a 3 times 5xy minus 25x plus y minus 5 here. But don't you see this one four terms again? So, which means we may be able to use grouping again. So since this four term doesn't share any common factor, so I'm going to divide half and half, and then factoring by grouping here. So, first thing, 5xy and 25x, do you see a common factor? Yes, which is, first of all, I can do 5, then becomes xy minus 5x, and then the other one, x, then become y minus 5 here. Since no more common factor between y and 5, I can cover that, and then make the parenthesis, I mean the multiplication symbol, then become 5x times y minus 5. I mean, if you know the common factor is 5x right away, then you can always factor them by 5x um, directly. That's fine too. But I just want to show some step and that it is possible too. That's the reason I'm doing two different steps. But you can reduce it as a one step. Just do it. Now, 5 and uh, y and 5 here. Do you see any common factor between these two? No, which means common factor become always 1. Therefore, I can rewrite this plus 1 times y minus 5 here. And do you see a common factor again? Yes, you must see y minus 5, there will be a common factor. Therefore, this becomes y minus 5 times and 5x plus 1 here. But don't forget, we factored by 3 before. So you put 3 outside, then 3 times y minus 5 times 5x plus 1, that will be the answer for this problem. Okay? Then, we can number 4. So 35mn plus 20m squared minus 70n minus 40m. Do you see any common factor all four terms? Not sure? Then again, just write 2, 5, 37, and we can start analyzing it. 2, I don't think so because this is the odd number. 5, I think it is because all four constants. The ending is 0 or 5, so you can divide by 5 again. So, I'm going to factor by 5. Then this becomes 7mn plus 4m squared minus 14n minus 
m here. Now, do you see another common factor? 7mn and 4m square and 14n and am? I don't think so. So, so far, now the factoring becomes 5 times 7mn plus 4m square minus 14n minus am. Okay. But like last time, we do, we see the four terms. Four terms we can use grouping because four term means we can separate as a group two term by two term. So we can we can try grouping here. So I'm gonna cut half and then make seven m n plus four m square become one group, and then fourteen n and the a m become second group. Now what's the common factor between seven m n and the four m square? Yes, as you see, m is the common factor, then this becomes 7n plus 4m comes down here. Since there's no common factor between 7n and 4m, so I'm going to make multiplying shapes, so it becomes m times 7n plus 4m. Now, the second group here. So, unlike before, now second term leading sign is minus sign. So I emphasize that if you see minus here, you factor by negative number. So first of all, what's the common factor between 14 and and am? Now I see two can be the common factor, but we factor by negative two instead. Okay, so negative two. Then you factor by negative 2, which means the sign will be switched. So it comes out 7n plus 4m. No more common factor, so cover by the parentheses and make a multiplication. Then this will become negative 2 times 7n plus 4m. Do you see any more common factor? Yes. This becomes the common factor again, therefore, the answer becomes 7n plus 4m times n minus 2. But don't forget, we factored by 5 before, so you put 5 outside here, then there will be the factoring of this polynomial.